constrained by disciplines. Uh, I think uh, good education teaches you to think, uh, to ask questions and to learn. And I think uh, that's what happened with me. And history, uh, a lot of history is actually the study of uh, economic history as well. And uh, you know, uh, that also influenced a lot of uh, my coverage of, uh, of business. So in a sense, I, I don't think it's non-related. I think it has to be multidisciplinary because then you understand the nuances of business better. Um, uh, what are the hurdles you faced when covering business and politics? Not many actually. I think the, the hurdle is the hyper competition in the market and the fact that you know you are expected to be very aggressive journalists, etc. But I don't think there are any hurdles as such. I mean, I just had a great uh, stint as a political and a business reporter, and I'm you know, looking forward to many, many more years <laughs> doing this. I love it. What inspired you to write a book, and uh, what are you, your expectations from the readers? I, I think what inspired me to write the book was really to bridge that divide, saying that business is something that only uh, a trained mind can understand. I think business anybody can understand and appreciate. And I think you must get more and more people to understand business and appreciate business because at the heart of business is human enterprise and the vision of a person or a company to go to great uh, heights. Uh, so I don't think uh, I want uh, business to remain a, a close club of people who understand and who have formal MBA degrees. I think everybody should appreciate business and that was the attempt uh, and the uh, and, uh, thing. And I must tell you that when I started out uh, as a, a history student and as a journalist, I wasn't very interested in business at all. And if the more I read about business, the more fascinating it became. And I think that's a journey a lot of people should take. Ma'am, do you think it's, uh, management students have any scope in journalism? I think everybody has scope in journalism because journalism is the most multidisciplinary field. I mean, you know, if you're a scientist, you have a scope in journalism. If you're an MBA, you have a scope in journalism. I think, it's, but at the heart of journalism is the passion, where we don't work necessarily for money or for uh, you know, the perks that money brings. It's really because of the passion of wanting to make a difference, to uh, be the voice of, uh, of the underdog, or to put the spotlight on what needs to be done for nation building. So you have to have uh, higher uh, you know, uh, ambitions and principles, and uh, not just money as a motive for to be a journalist. Being a female on India in 1996, what made you step into the journalism industry, then getting into grits and glamour of quality? Actually, you should ask me why I didn't Miss India, 1996. Because by the time I'd done, uh, went for Miss India, I was already a university topper in uh, Delhi University at Stephens. I was also a university topper in Pune, where I did my masters. So actually, the reason I did uh, the Femina Miss India was just for the fun of it. Honestly, I mean, I had no interest in, in anything to do with glamour or the business of uh, of of movies. Uh, but it was a great experience. I don't think you know. Again, we have sweeping generalizations that it is a banal, silly thing to do. It is not. It's a great uh, platform and I think I was very lucky because at the age of 21 I met some great people and people who were, you know, doers, who were very, very successful and while everybody else was trying to get a movie role or, or angling towards that, I was actually spending more time with these people to understand how they had succeeded and I think that really raised my own benchmark of what I can do in life. So I think I'm, I'm really thankful that I went through that experience. Can you give us a brief idea about your journey from being a news anchor to executive editor? So news anchor is no longer uh, just a news anchor actually because you know the days where you just read out news have gone. So you are normally a journalist. So and I, I started off as a reporter, as a producer and worked in many institutions uh, to reach the role of an executive editor. Now I lead a team and we create some great television programs, push the envelope, push the limits on a lot of uh, concepts that we've been working on. It's been a phenomenal journey, great fun. And I tell you, if, if you love what you do, I mean, you know, the, everything else is just, uh, I mean, can you imagine getting paid for something that you love doing? That's amazing. Can you please share your experience with Mumbai? Uh, Mumbai. Yeah, I think it was a very, very uh, uh, traumatizing experience for me uh, as a journalist because uh, the Taj Hotel in, in Bombay was really the epicenter of a lot of business uh, uh, programs, of press conferences, and a place that one went to every other day. And to see that happen was really shocking. But uh, as a reporter out there, uh, you know, you had great responsibility on your shoulders because you had to portray the right, uh, uh, the right kind of um, reportage. You, should, you had to do the right kind of reportage. And also you had to make sure that you didn't get carried away by the moment. You, know, you 
have to be very, very sedate and sane in a time of crisis because you can't start shouting when everybody is shouting. You, know, you have to be the voice of reason. And I think that was one of the big takeaways for me. The other was uh, the fear of, of the fact that anybody could have walked into a hotel and you know, done the kind of uh, carnage that they did uh, and gotten away with it. Uh, so I mean that, that was a, a very, very uh, disturbing thought process. And also what happened over there was uh, the human tragedy that was unfolding in front of you, the fear that, that you knew had gripped the people inside, trapped inside that burning inferno which was the Taj Mahal Hotel. Was, even today I, I go there and I have to lose about Thank you. Thank you.